Hey, welcome back. So I've actually been playing Potion Permit for like six to seven hours on Switch in the last two days. And I actually just really wanted to share my thoughts on it. So let's just keep this really short and sweet so that way you actually know if this game is anything for you or not. We have the city called Moonberry where the mayor and his daughter has actually gone sick. They tried any ways to actually cure the kid, but they can't. So they actually turned to the capital. Now the capital People don't really like the capital because there was some type of catastrophic event the chemist caused. No clue what it is. I haven't really uh, gotten to that part yet if it's actually explained in the game. But even then, they are really have this necessity for alchemists, so they actually bring you over. Now, when you actually arrive, the mayor introduces you to the entire town and nobody likes you. Nobody. It's kind of weird and like... It, you actually would expect to start you like Valley that actually pretty much everyone would like you, everyone wants to be friendly with you, and basically that isn't the case. People would even threaten you in the middle of the street. But luckily, while you actually progress through the game, people will actually start liking you. And why will they start liking you? Because you will actually be treating their sick people. So whenever someone is sick, they will come in the infirmary and you are going to cure them with a potion. It's potion permit after all. Now, how do you actually diagnose a patient? It's really simple, actually. You just play this mini game. But what is really cool about it is actually that you can just play it. And if you fail at it, there are actually, you know, kind of results. People will actually dislike you for that. But if you actually succeed at it, well, then you actually know what the problem is. And then you will have to make a potion. Now, first of all, you will need the regions. Now, the regions are basically very simply, you go into the forest and you go collect them. So you can cut down plants, you can cut down uh, trees, you can just break some rocks or, of course, kill the wildlife. Some of the wildlife is trying to try to kill you. Now, the combat in this game is really, really simplistic. There are two things you can do. You can attack and you can dodge. That's it. Dodging doesn't take any stamina, you can dodge, dodge out of the way, and after that you can just start, you know, just smashing the left mouse button if you're on PC or whatever button it is on Switch, I keep forgetting, but, you know, that is basically the combat, it's very simplistic, it isn't really the reason why you should just start playing this game. Once you actually have the regions, you can just go to your shop and there you actually have another mini game that you can play where you actually kind of need to fit these, you know, Tetris blocks into a puzzle. Now, there are different ways that you can actually solve each one and, you know, it's just a really fun game and luckily, luckily you can actually record these recipes. So once you actually complete the puzzle and the next patient has the same thing, you need the same potion, you can just copy paste the solution of the last puzzle into the same one. It's just this really welcoming thing because honestly, this mini game becomes a little bit of a drag after some time. Once you actually apply this in the potion, people are happy, everyone is cured, they like you a little bit more. And that's the entire gameplay loop. Now, now outside of the gameplay loop of just curing patients, this is still a live sim, and just like in most games, you still have the option to upgrade your tools, for example, to, so you can actually just perform better or unlock new areas. You can just improve your own house, your infirmary, or even the town. So there are a lot of goals to work towards too, and you know, people just keep throwing things at you just to keep you playing, which is really nice for this type of game. I just want to mention that the NPCs in this game are amazing. I really enjoy that they actually threaten me in the street because actually it adds to the story. It makes sense in a certain way. And it also makes sense that they actually really, really warm up to you as you actually cure their sick. Because, you know, you are actually saving lives and they kind of are rewarding you for that. Just they are showing their friendship to you. You are really showing, hey, we're not all bad guys. There is a really story and the NPCs, their interaction with you actually really supports that. Now, there are, of course, also romance options in this game. There are three boys and three girls that you can actually romance. And the gifting system is very simplistic compared to Stardew Valley, for example, because you can only give one specific item called Moon Cloven, if I'm not mistaken. And so that's a little bit more simplistic, but still, I didn't mind that. My main problem with Potion Permit is the constant need for regions. Um, you know, the fun thing about Stardew is that you can actually just plant your crops, you can just water them every day, and after that you can just go do something. And that's the problem with this game. You constantly need to spend your energy on collecting regions. If you don't need regions for your potions, you need to go out because you need to collect some wood or some stone for you know, crafting, for upgrading, for quests and stuff like that. The grind is real in this game. You constantly need to go out in the forest and just, you know, gather resources, whatever kind of this. And honestly, I just kind of found that really grindy at a certain point. Now, I don't mind farming simulators. I always, you know, appreciate a little bit of grind because, you know, it kind of keeps you going. 
But in this game, it really felt like a second job at certain points, and I really disliked that part. So I'm still going to be playing the game a little bit, but I do hope they are going to improve this in at some point in the game. But right now, I am like six, seven hours in, and still the grind is very real, and I don't see it changing anytime soon. I don't see any indications. So in hindsight, it actually all boils down to that Potion Permit is heavily inspired by Stardew Valley for good reason, and it really just sets itself apart due to its setting, its story, the great NPCs, and of course the entire gameplay loop of having to diagnose patients and just cure them with potions. However, the gameplay loop constantly requires resources that you can only get in the forest, and grinding those regions, they, well, they become a little bit of a drag. For some gamers, that grind isn't going to be a problem, and for some gamers, well, they will mind. So let me know in the comment section down below which type of gamer you are, and if you actually already played it, just share your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.